Salutations, respected viewers. I'm George from Ireland. Now behind me is the house, or rather the site, where Her Britannic Majesty was born in April 1926. So she just turned 94. It's, it unfortunately was destroyed during the Second World War. You see the white van and the um, black car. Up there, that circle, that is the plaque. I'll get a bit closer to it in time. And this marks the spot where the house was. So I don't know how tall it was. It was a, it's a lovely 19th century seat, street, but unfortunately this is the bit that the Luftwaffe got. Um, so it was the townhouse of the Earl of Strathmore and Kinghorn, as in the Queen's maternal grandfather. Um, if you look a bit further down the street, you get an idea. It would have been more like that, these white buildings here. Um, uh, late 18th century housing. So um, uh, the Queen was born to the Duke of York, as in the future King George VI. It was the second son of King George V. And the Queen's mother uh, was then Duchess of York, but she had been born um, uh, the Honourable Elizabeth Bowes Lyon. So the, the daughter of a uh, Scots peer. And although her mother was born actually a bit north of London. Uh, anyway, her parents had got married in 1921, if memory serves, but it was um, five years before the firstborn appeared, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary, uh, the, cur the current queen. And um, births in the royal family were supposed to be attended by the Home Secretary. I'm not quite sure why. I'm guessing so they didn't have a suppositious infant or any claim thereof, as in no foundling could be smuggled into a warming pan. Um, to replace the actual royal child, or maybe there was no regal pregnancy, anything like that. But um, Sir William Joynson Hicks, the Home Secretary, uh, kept a discreet distance in the next door room. He felt it would be unseemly for him uh, to be uh, present in the birthing chamber to come in just afterwards and really take the doctor and midwife's word for it. Um, so uh, there she was born. It was not assumed that she would um, ever inherit the crown. She had an elder brother, um, the Prince of Wales, who later reigned as Edward VIII. But that Edward VIII was known as David within his family. Um, uh, and it was presumed that he would wed and produce a healthy race of children. But indeed, he was not fecund, because despite numerous affairs and despite a marriage to the former Mrs. Wallace Simpson, he never spawned. Um, some people say, did he have some sort of childhood case of mumps or something, which may have rendered him, infer in, him infertile, capable of intercourse, but not capable of siring offspring. Uh, so uh, that's it on Bruton Street in Mayfair, London. Um, didn't hear living most of the time. They did have a house just off um, Piccadilly because I read The Little Princesses by Marion Crawford, their nanny. Crawford, as she was known, and she said that. I don't know what that actual, actual address was. It just so happened she'd be born here because um, here it is. Here's the plaque, 21st of April. Um, so uh, that's the Queen's um, unofficial birthday. And there would have been the 21 gun salute, but it was cancelled for the very first time ever this year owing to coronavirus. And then her official birthday is, is celebrated the middle of June, a Saturday in the middle of June, because it's closest to um, uh, Queen Victoria's birthday. Kind of became Empire Day, as they used to say. I'm not sure when Commonwealth Day is, then they turned into Commonwealth Day. But her official birthday is then for the good weather. So it varies. It could be the second or the third Saturday of June um, when there's. Uh, I think that's when the parade is, the tripping of the colour, no, as in showing that flag to those regiments of the foot guards. So we're just on Barclay Square, a nightingale sang in Barclay Square, who's that by? Is that by Sir Noel Coward? And Bruton Street, the only other notable thing about it is, is it's somewhere along here that, that um, uh, the um, lovelorn, unrecognised adolescent poet Thomas Chatterton died at the age of 17. Did he commit suicide? Um, because he was not rejected by this cruel and philistine world, well, he, well, because he was rejected rather, or was it because he was actually trying to treat himself with syphilis and accidentally poisoned himself, treat himself with arsenic against syphilis? You see, that's the trouble. I'm always jumping ahead to the next sentence and saying a word from the next sentence I have on my mind. So you get an idea what the area is like. The streets would have been more like this one behind. Um, so that is where the Queen was born. It's, isn't it such a shame that the building doesn't exist? But uh, her, par her, her grandparents, her maternal grandparents, their country house was Glam's Castle in Scotland, which still stands. And so the Queen Mother was very fond of going there. The Queen Mother as in the mother of the present Queen. Um, the Queen Mother, she died in 2002. I was very gratified to see her in 2000, to clap eyes on her, be within 10 metres of her, the last Empress of India. It's hard to believe even now that such a person ever even existed that I saw the Empress of India in the flesh. And indeed, there was a memorial service organized for in Mumbai Cathedral, the Anglican one. So it would have been a bit more like these ones, not that glamorous, uh, these buildings, but rather more 
uh, pleasant than the very plain structure that's there in its place, something hastily built after the, after the Second World War. So that's enough about the Queen's birthplace. Toodaloo.